Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And your girl Fanny Lungo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now, we're going to do another reaction video. Before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to say thank you for everybody who is subscribing to our channel. Guys, you guys are super amazing. And the most important thing is that uh, most of you guys are actually just, you know, giving us suggestions in the comment section below on the videos that you want us to react to. And we've done that a couple of times. And this is one of the videos that was suggested by one of you guys in the comment section below. And yeah, so we're going to react to Ahmed did that. Why was Prophet Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, elite? Let's get it. Uh, when I came to the uh, meeting site, I wasn't quite sure what I was coming to. When I came through the door, I was left in no doubt at all. Um, I, it was entitled Jesus and Muhammad. And thank you for putting Jesus first. Um, I, I'm sure you'll accept that you did not put the case for Christianity as a Christian would put it. I'm sure you would. And that I can understand in an audience of this, this kind who's of already persuaded towards the Muslim way of thinking. Um, and uh, indeed, I, I would say that I, uh, as an individual, would respect the Quran. Uh, I'm afraid you did not respect my holy book, which is the Bible, in quite the same way. In fact, I'm a teacher. And in my classroom, I've got a television which is fixed to the wall. And on the top of the television, there's just room to put the Quran because I respect in my, my I've got Muslim children in my school. And I put the highest, I know you respect your book, you want to put it in the highest place. So I do that. I put it in the highest place. Now, what I'm saying to you is this you've not really ex, uh, given, uh, in my opinion anyway, the Christian loving and forgiving, these are the two essential things, although you denigrate forgiveness for some reason, uh, as highly as I would. But more than that, perhaps you answer this point. Um, Muhammad, you talked a lot about Jesus, you talked a lot, a lot about our holy book. We're not talking much about, the, about uh, Muhammad, or, or indeed the Quran too much, um, apart from the missionary aspect of it. Um, could you tell me how you can believe, and indeed anybody in this room can believe, in one man, who um, couldn't read, couldn't write, indeed uh, could get his followers uh, by bloodshed through war. Uh, how you can believe that that man was a follower of God, let alone a prophet of God, uh, to, um, uh, and to accept all his teachings as you do so glibly, and yet reject Christianity and the holy book of Christianity so, so, so easily as well. You see, you have thrown in so many things in this little contribution of yours that how can we believe in a man who was illiterate and who by bloodshed who had spread his faith converted the people now with regards to the man being unlearned this is a fulfillment of the prophecy in your book a fulfillment the book of Isaiah chapter 29 verse 12 it says there and the book is given to him that is not learned. The book, please, please. The book is given to him that is not learned, saying, read. And he says, I am not learned. Now, if you look for in the religious history of man, in the Bible, you will never find an occasion where any prophet of God, when given the message of God, he says, I am not learned. But if you read any biography of Muhammad, any written by Muslims or non-Muslims, they will tell you that the first revelation that was given to him in Ghare Hira, the Mount of Hira, when the angel of God comes to him and commands him in his mother tongue, he says, Iqra, read. And Muhammad says, Ma ana He said, I'm not learned. So the angel of God commands him a second time, Iqra, read. And again he says, Ma ana He said, I'm not learned. For the third time, the angel of God embraces him hard and he says, Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Now he grasped the message that what he was required to do was to repeat. Because this Arabic word Iqra means to read, to recite, to rehearse, to repeat. And he repeats the words as they were given to him. Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Read in the name of the Lord and cherisher who created. Khalaq al insana min alak. Say, he who created man from a mere clot of congealed blood. Ikra wa rabbukal akram. So read and the Lord is most bountiful. So he says, Ikra wa rabbukal akram. So Allah zi allama bil kalam. So he who taught the use of the pen. So he says, Allah zi allama bil kalam. So Allah al insana ma'alam ya'alam. Taught man that which he knew not. The very fact that the man is unlearned is a proof that this book is a book of God. Yes, well, <laughs> See? That, 
What do you think? <laughs> um, but I don't think he was a uh, witch, was he? But then that word, you can, like literacy, you define it as the ability to read. And write. Yeah. Um, now, again, in this context, that, I mean, when you... Okay, what, what language is more uh, speaking? You know, well, first of all, we have to look into that. If he was probably speaking Arabic and, um, and all that, then he could probably read and write. You think so? How? How could you speak a language and then you don't read, you can't read and write? How? It's like I thought I can say Swahili words but can't spell them. But again, how did you even learn them? Hmm. Do you understand? From hearing. For you to be able like, to be fluent in Arabic, how did you, you can. without knowing how to write and read? I'm sure Muhammad was a pro. Uh, I'm not. I'm sure. He is a. Then he was a prophet. To... Yeah. Mm -hmm. For you to be a prophet, you have to have a degree of, um, uh, if not articulacy or maybe um, good uh, proficient. Um, lingual you or think something. So? I mean, because cause, we're cause you're chosen world, by God to talk to people. Exactly, that's what I'm going you know? Because we're living in a world where any one of us can sit down and say, sometimes God is going to send, not that Muhammad is what I'm saying, mm -hmm. like a fool to educate us, someone who has nothing, someone who's not on your level of education, you understand, has no riches to pass on this message for you people to follow. Someone would say that in this defense. But there are many people. <laughs> what are you thinking? Imagine you're in class, yeah? This lecture teaches you English. It's very fluent at English. And then one day, one day, you realize that this lecture cannot write or even read English. Will you be even confident enough so, to sit down in that class? ever again to listen to that lecture How does because you will always want to you'll always be curious to just tell him excuse me can you just try and read for us here really exactly because you won't be that comfortable enough yeah. to even be at a position of sitting down because it will, will always be biting why is someone teaching me then english then... when he cannot read or write do you understand just like for example uh someone is teaching you business or he's telling you how he's telling you how I'm good in business, but in his bank account he has nothing, or he doesn't even have zero dollars or any business that he's running at, uh, at that particular moment. How would you want to believe in that kind of a person? Do you understand? I think you're yeah, making good point. I think God will not want to do that to a prophet. God would want to give you that particular thing that it can be so convincing to be talking to the people now he will give you good language ability and to read and write i don't know that's how i'm thinking remember that story of the drunkard on the bus i told you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he said you said he said something like is it don't do the things I'm doing or don't be like me? Yeah. But then gave some wise wisdom. Yeah. Do you understand? So does it mean you shouldn't listen to this person because of the state they were in? That's different. Mm. It's the same thing. That's what That's I'm saying. Different. When it's, it comes it's, to it's, language, it's a, what people don't realize no, is many of us can no, actually no. learn a language without learning how to read or even it's it's not it's, it's not the same thing. It's different. The guy was intoxicated by maybe something he drank, yeah. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that I shouldn't listen to him. Just because he's drunk doesn't mean that I shouldn't sit down and listen to him. It's totally different from what we are trying to talk about. Even here. the people that speak English, do you know many people speak English but when it comes to reading and writing like that, it's just not there. I know, I know that. I I, I, I know that. There are some people who can speak. There. But again you can't tell me they can't write or read 
Oh, because may, may God forgive me for saying this. Those actually some because I feel like I feel that couldn't read nor write, but English, I think she was okay. She was doing fine. By reading, what do you mean? Reading it to yourself or reading it to the public? To the public. Whether you read it to yourself or to the public, you're still reading. So how did it pass? Or how how did he how was he able to to uh, doing the exam? How to join ninth yeah. grade? How was he able to do the exams? You you need to read know. first. I really don't know. I think I think it's somehow impossible to even be honest. Just saying he, I mean reading he. What like the person was reading something? No, I do understand. The there are people who listen. I understand that there are people who, when it comes to reading something in front of the people, there's that kind of nervousness that comes to them. There's some there's some of them stutter. Some of them mm -hmm. don't know even what how to start. Do you understand? So those things are there. But it doesn't mean that when you're given a test, he or she doesn't read fast before he answers. You he must have know how to read or even how to write. It's really impossible, Ming man. How ask did you how did you even I... how did you even know how to speak? I know you can know how to speak by just listening. You understand? Mm -hmm. Just like babies. Babies they listen and, and they end up exactly. Babies they listen and they, and they actually mm -hmm. talk. <laughs> they, See, because if a baby you tell a baby to write, it wouldn't write that's anything. That's the best example speak. you've given. Yeah, so it, how do babies it's true, read? It's true, so actually, Muhammad could have been able to speak just not even Maybe able Muhammad to read was just like a baby and then you know all of a sudden But anyway it's true because I was I'm thinking like babies. So the only babies they, they listen and then they they now start talking like Baba and all, and then now it transitions like that all the way. But again, you wonder how. It's possible. I know, but to be to it's be like very possible. But that to be like wise, it's to be possible. a prophet, man. I mean, for for God to choose you, I think He needs to give you that ability of reading and interpreting things. That's how you because want it to be. Do you understand? I don't know. That's how you want it to be. But that was. The situation but then i think that's what i'm trying to say i think the hardest part is not the fact that he couldn't um read or write the hardest part many people are finding with is how can someone who can't read and write lead us or tell yeah. us that these are the words of god yeah how can we trust what he's saying yeah that's very important to ask if you want to ask and if you i mean if you have an answer to that let us know would you feel safe following someone who can't read or write? I'm asking you. I um. I wouldn't say I, I can't follow. I uh, if someone doesn't know how to read or write, but it speaks to some resonance of my thoughts and how I see life, then I can be able to uh, be in the same level with him. I can you know okay, but not want that to situation, listen more. This situation. Would you have followed? If someone comes Muhammad? and tells me that I'm a prophet, but I don't know how to read and write. You're changing my question. Would uh, you have followed Muhammad? That's what I'm saying. If 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 Muhammad said that uh, I'm a prophet, but I can't read and write, but I'm ordained by God. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's a very very tricky thing. It's a tricky situation because I always feel like there's always some knowledge someone possesses that because you should again take. where okay we can argue that they got the knowledge from God directly information but again the reference you know who are the people you you're with where did you read you know what's the what's the Tell us he didn't the read. books. Tell us the books There's no to go books. and read. <laughs> Tell us where to go to. Show us this is where it is. You God understand? Gave I mean, him everything, I the knowledge. Anyway, that's that, that's 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 tricky because again, you can't you can't argue with that. No, you can't. It's mm -hmm. going to find you point yeah. to some extent. Because you're gonna go back to the same I'm, thing. The person just say God. God gave me all this knowledge. Then what? Yeah. You know, so anyway, it's a 
it's a good discussion just let us know what you think on the comment what you think about the whole thing on the comment section below would you be willing to listen to somebody who especially in this day uh, and age. yeah listen to somebody who is totally illiterate but he can speak good english to make you understand but he, he can't read it right let us know in the comment section below what do you think it's a good question i was trying to think about what you said so uh, uh, let us know what you think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. And deuces.